AJ Styles seek redemption. He faced Brock Lesnar again for the WWE Championship. And it was a match which AJ Styles lost again. He lost his rematch to Brock Lesnar. Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Yeah, this is episode 71 of the Career Mode series. So my summer vacations are almost over, and I don't think we'll be we will we're gonna end the series that we'll be able to end the series by the summer vacations. So I'm just expecting, you know, this series will not be ended by the summer vacations, but it's uh, it's okay. I'm damn sure that this series will be will will get and will be ended will end i mean this series will end i'm sure that this series will end before the new game the newest uh series the new 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 game wwe 2k18 releases that is 17th october so we're seeing aj styles coming out he lost his rematch to brock lesnar pretty bad things are happening to him and uh, it is not good let's see what he wants to say last two weeks have been really bad for me i mean I lost the WWE World Championship just today after winning it. I've lost all the opportunities to regain the WWE Championship. Except for one. I and oh look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Shane McMahon. COO. Confronting AJ Styles. Let's see what AJ Styles is talking about, right? I mean, we're also curious. He's also curious as to what opportunity is AJ Styles talking about. What are you talking about, AJ? What opportunity are you talking about? Please, please, please let me know. Yeah. Which opportunity are you talking about, AJ Styles? You've lost your rematch and that was the only opportunity you had. As for now, you do not deserve any opportunity. Styles says, yeah, that's what, that is what I want to talk about. I do not deserve any opportunity. I've earned it. Allow me to recall your memory, Shane. I won the Royal Rumble. And I'm going to headline WrestleMania, and there is nothing anyone can do about it. That's right. We just forgot about it. I mean, maybe most of us forgot about it. He won the Royal Rumble, and he has the right to go to WrestleMania. Oh, yes. I almost forgot about that. But you know what? I wonder if you will be able to defeat the champion at WrestleMania. You're on a kind of a losing streak right now. What if the same thing happens at WrestleMania? The people won't like it at all. That's why I'm putting your WrestleMania opportunity at stake against Randy Orton and John Cena at Fastlane in a triple threat match. The winner would go on to WrestleMania to face Brock Lesnar for the WWE World Championship. All right, yes, people, we're going straight. We're going straight to the match. Randy Orton versus AJ Styles versus John Cena. The winner goes on to WrestleMania to face face. I mean, to face Brock Lesnar. For the WWE World Championship. Uh, so, Shane thinks that even though AJ Styles might have won the WWE, uh, I'm sorry, even though AJ Styles might have won the, um, you know, the the World Rumble, but he 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 doubts if Styles is really ready for the fight that is going to come to him. Like the past two times, he has not been able to overcome Brock Lesnar. He might have been able to, you know, defeat Brock Lesnar previously a lot of times, but this year. AJ Styles versus Brock Lesnar, there were like three matches. Like this season, there were like three matches for AJ Styles versus AJ Styles versus Brock Lesnar. And all of those three matches, um, no, I'm sorry, there were four matches. AJ Styles just won one match, which was a Money in the Bank cash in. So we can say AJ Styles had a big advantage. But when it came to AJ Styles having no advantage, and even Brock Lesnar didn't have any advantage, but Brock Lesnar still won. Not having any advantage, it was fair and square. Brock Lesnar won fair and square, and AJ Styles just won one match, which was not basically fair and square. It was um, kind of you can say AJ Styles had a big advantage because Brock was already injured a little bit. AJ Styles cashed his money in the bank and won the championship. That was all he had to do. So the leader of the C Nation has come, John Cena, and yes, people. I'm recording this um, through my microphone and I'm really enjoying this mic. I love this. Um, let's see how the voice comes in this one. Last time I was like a little too close to the mic in my previous video. 
So that is why that is why you guys kind of said, um, you know, this video, man, we're not able to hear your voice pro properly. I mean, that's what I felt too. Yeah, I was not. It was like too loud, and maybe my um, <clears throat> my voice is a little bit um, a little bit, little bit coarse. And that is what it uh, felt like uh, on the mic. So you gotta be a little away from the mic. I'm just, I'm still learning to use this thing, and it's just awesome. I love it. I love it. So, leader of the C Nation, John Cena, is here in the building, ladies and gentlemen. He's the second competitor. AJ Styles says Royal Rumble opportunity is in stake. In history, there hasn't been a Royal Rumble winner who would have his Ro a Royal Rumble opportunity at stake, but he had not lost that opportunity, except for one that was Vince McMahon, and he faced Stone Cold Steve Austin. I Stone Cold was the runner up of the Royal Rumble match. Vince McMahon had won the Royal Rumble, and um, Vince McMahon then uh, Stone Cold then challenged Vince McMahon in a steel cage match and the winner would go on to um, WrestleMania. So Vince McMahon's Royal Rumble opportunity was at stake. I just I saw that in a WWE 2K16 showcase, uh, Austin 316 showcase. It's a cool showcase. It's a really good 2K showcase. They need to bring this back in 2K18. So what I'm saying is that Stone Cold was like, of course Stone Cold is like a lot better than Vince McMahon. We all know that, of course. But that's the same thing which is happening. Stone Cold was just beating the hell out of Vince McMahon. Vince was like, Vince McMahon, I'm sorry, Vince McMahon, we should be respectful for the person who's been making us enjoy, for the, you know, serving us with this WWE concert. It has been really good. So, Mr. McMahon, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Mr. Vince McMahon, for this uh, WWE wrestling concert, wrestling entertainment concert. I love it. Many other people love it. So, thank you for the concert. Okay, so what just happened is that Vince McMahon was like losing a lot of time. Then he was also then provoking um, Stone Cold Steve Austin to beat him more, and that is what Steve Austin was doing. Uh, Steve Austin, whenever Steve Austin was trying to get out of the get out of the cage, the steel cage, Vince McMahon started to you know provoke him, and then he used to do it. He used to come every time. Then Paul White, we saw I think it was Paul White's debut in the WWE. Paul White came in. Paul White helped Vince McMahon beat it up. Beat it, he beat it up Austin a little bit, but then he threw Austin to the cage, and the cage broke down, and Austin went outside the ring. So that means that Austin was the clear winner. Austin um, won the match, and that is the. I think Vince McMahon is the only person in the history of the WWE who has lost his Royal Rumble opportunity when it was put on stake. But is AJ Styles going to be the second person? We don't know because the competition is tough today. We're seeing so far we've been seeing we're seeing AJ Styles doing a pretty good job against Randy Orton and John Cena. And look at this now. Now comes the real blow. Now comes the real wave of competition. Randy Orton and John Cena. These are the two competitors. Winner goes on to WrestleMania to face Brock Lesnar. Look at this. AJ Styles kind of obsessed with that baseball bat. Cena has that baseball bat, AJ Styles gets it back, and he's he has, uh, is he going to hit him? No. Randy Orton right now is uh, uh, concentrated. Orton is right now focused towards um, John Cena. We're seeing, we're going to see. Hey, even if AJ Styles wins this match, and even if he goes to WrestleMania, and even if he, oh, nice reversal by Randy Orton, he had it coming. He saw it coming. He's the wiper. He's the wiper after all. So even though AJ Styles might just win this match, even though AJ Styles might go to WrestleMania, and even though AJ Styles might just, uh, you know, defeat Brock Lesnar for the WWE World Championship winning, even though he might just do it if he, you know, overcomes all the all obstacles. Nice baseball attack from AJ Styles. And look at that now to Randy Orton. I'm saying even though if he does all the other things, even though he overcomes all the odds, but you know what? People are still not gonna like it because people have they have seen enough of these guys, enough of these guys facing each other for the WWE World Championship. AJ Styles and um, AJ Styles and um, um, Brock Lesnar. So I'm sure that people don't don't want to watch this match now. People are not uh, interested in this match. The WWE Universe is not interested in this match. But 
that is not how AJ Styles work, okay? If AJ Styles doesn't care, what was that? What was that, Randy? What was that? What was that? Even if AJ Styles loses this match, that'd be the thing that, uh, if AJ Styles loses this match, that'd be the thing that people will be wanting right now. Because people have seen enough of these guys, Brock Lesnar and AJ Styles, going at it against each other for the WWE World Championship. It has been going on for like, for the for, uh, this whole week, like before Fastlane, between Fastlane and World Rumble. So, people, I'm, ooh, chair hit right on the hips of John Cena. People would not like to, the WWE Universe would not like to, you know, watch these two at the main event of WrestleMania. No, I don't think it's going to be the main event. I don't know. I don't know. Like, main event this year has also changed and can also change this time. So, like, going on for the WWE World Championship. That's not what the WWE Universe would like. But that's not how it works. AJ Styles would do what is best for him. Okay, even if he has to fight the whole WWE Universe, he will, he has done that before, he can do it again, but let's see what's going to happen. I believe AJ Styles is going to win, because so far, we see Randy Orton and John Cena both for their health bar, and oh, that was a, a quick movement and a quick decision, fast decision, decision which was, which should, shouldn't have, shouldn't even happen. Because uh, H-Star should have, should have um, thought twice before, you know, jumping on John Cena and Randy Orton. Those two are engaged in their own fight, but AJ Styles has come in between again, picking up his opportunity. Now, some people might be thinking, what is AJ Styles doing? Like, is he the face right now or is he heel right now? Well, you know, the answer is, uh, I don't even know. He hasn't done anything which looks like he's in a heel alignment but he also hasn't done anything which looks like he is face so you can say he's kind of in between undecided right let us see maybe we can decide on uh, that today because we saw that heel turn by AJ Styles when he turned on backstabbed Dolph Ziggler but then he did some face things turned back face and now we from that point onwards we're not sure if he is heel or he is he is he is he face so, when I started the series, AJ Styles was one of my favorite superstars. That is because I've seen AJ Styles before, like, uh, facing and in, uh, individual wrestling performances and all that. But, um, I would like to say that, um, you know, okay, um, in the WWE. But now I would like to say that it's been a lot of time since I've, I've been watching AJ Styles, uh, Performing in the WWE, so I, he's not right, not right now. He's not my favorite superstar, not anymore. But yeah, he's still one of my favorite superstars, not my favorite. Favorite is Randy Orton, and I have said that, made it clear in my video. Randy Orton's my favorite, but I have a special part spot for the Undertaker, and that is more than a favorite. So Undertaker, of course, he has been influencing my uh, childhood and uh still influencing my life a lot i just wish he's not retired oh a chair right to the head of john cena what starts planning now and sitting ddt to randy orton getting randy orton up again is he yeah he's going for that again let's see let's see let's see and john cena Hurricane Rana to John Cena, the ring right now, it looks like the ring right now, belongs to AJ Styles. So, I'm not sure if AJ Styles eliminated Randy Orton, maybe, yeah, he did. And he also eliminated John Cena, but that was all with the help of Dean Ambrose too, so Dean Ambrose. Also, what do you think, man? What do you think you're going for? Like, Larry spin and, when, and that too when John Cena's still up? You think he would let you do that? Do you think he would let you do that, huh, man? Uh, huh, Randy? Going for the signature now, AJ Styles, oh my goodness, looks like AJ Styles is winning, looks like AJ Styles is winning, oh what's going on, what's going on, what's going on, wait what, what, no, 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 he's back, Triple H, Hunter retire, no, no, pedigree to AJ Styles and Randy going, wait, what are you doing Randy, no, don't do it Randy, don't do it Randy, Randy no, he's going for the pin, one, two, three, it's up, it's over. It's done. AJ Styles lost. AJ Styles is not going to WrestleMania. Like, 
not at least to face the WWE World Champion. Randy Orton is. So, Royal Rumble doesn't mean anything to AJ Styles now. Alright. Gotcha. Thank you everyone for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to watch the next episode too.